this video is going to show you how to bring through some information into analytics that you don't get by default and this information is under acquisition search console landing pages and this section gives you information on where people are landing based on coming from Google's native or an organic uh, search listings when you come up in a search result people are going to find you for some for some words they're going to click on that link uh, and this will come out through the queries section. Now some of this data is not always foolproof. Google have some interesting privacy rules and data sharing, um, data sharing rules and when someone's logged into a Google account you don't necessarily get that information come through. So there will be some unknown things. This isn't bulletproof but uh, you will get some extra information that can prove useful course if it's there we should take it so let's figure out how we actually do this there's two things you need first one is you need your analytics profile which we're in at the moment and you can see another video in this playlist to see how to set up analytics the second thing you need is your webmaster tools or your search console site get that authenticated authenticate that property so that it's connected to your website and to your login. I would recommend you do both the HTTPS and the HTTP version. It's important to be able to do both because now Google is driving sites more to HTTPS as one of its ranking factors and it's important to have it selected uh, to have your domain secure. Now the, it's important to figure out which one you've got. The easiest way of doing that is to type in your domain name without anything in front of it and watch where it gets redirected. So you can see this one has gone to HTTPS and www. Some, people, some websites don't have the www. Some website should from now on have the HTTPS. If you don't have an HTTPS, you need to get an SSL certificate, um, talk to your developer or your hosting company about how to do that. So once you've figured out what your domain is, go register that in Search Console, and then let's come into Analytics, Search Console, Landing Pages, and then click this button here, which is Set Up Search Console Data. Note uh, that all this does is takes you through the admin, so if you're not there, you can click on the cog in Admin, click on uh, Property Settings, and then if you scroll down just a touch, you'll see the Search Console section, which it says adjust, songs, so, uh, adjust, adjust Search Console. Let's click on that. And at the moment, we've got nothing collected. Click on Add. This will open up the Search Console with a list of all the websites that you have uh, signed into your Webmaster Tools account or your Search Console account. Find the one that I need. Check the HTTPS and also check that it's not already linked. And then uh, at the bottom here, don't click out of sight, click on save if you're selecting it from the list and then click OK. This will stitch the two things together. The data will come through to analytics, but note that it's only there for 90 days. So if you have a look at this time last year, you won't be able to see that information. For some reason, Google don't want you to keep that for any longer than uh, 90 days. It's such the way it is. If you've got multiple views in analytics, you can change those in there. So let's go and have a look at acquisition search console landing pages. And you'll see that almost instantly, uh, you're going to get some data through into here. So those are the landing pages that these, the site have, um, have been registered and that analytics already has. It's showing you some sessions and pages information. Um, and some of that information will start to fill out as time goes on. So that's how you link your analytics with your Google Search Console and get some good information between the two. Thanks for watching. My name's Duncan from 6.5. This video helps you get a little bit of extra data into analytics. If the data's there, you may as well have it. So this is a nice little tool to make that happen. Thanks for watching and check out some of our other videos.